right, Dublin Marley back again. Got a little hammered that last fight. Gonna have to fix some stuff. Throw that guy down to storage, I think. Yeah. Refit. Please say you didn't damage my. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One heat sink ain't that bad. All right. Looking good. Confirm. Logged and noted. Man, the archer got hit too. Got some lasers that are all right. And they got two medium lasers. But no, I got four medium lasers that are good so let's go back take a look at the warhammer real quick Might have to get rid of that ER. So that's a plus one. So that's a better weapon. So let's drag that out. And let's put that one in. Let's confirm that. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. And then let's look at this guy. Oh yeah, he could definitely use some new stuff. So let's take that medium laser off. Definitely give you that one. Take these medium lasers off. We'll give you the plus accuracy ones. And that should make you a better mech. That's probably safer. All right, let's confirm that. <coughs> right, I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to do that one anymore. So let's go look at the star map. I got plenty of money. Let's go find two stars. But I need a black market. Two stars in a black market. I visited there before? I don't think so. No, nope, let's travel there and see what's up. And it'll give all my guys time to heal. Get to go shopping. I think they're going to be real expensive, though.
all my guys getting out of the, the doctor's office. That's really, really good. All right. Let's look at the black market. Oh, an annihilator. Oh, it's only, you know, $12 million for a part. I'm, 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 I'm kind of amazed they have black market. It has... Yeah, I don't care about their black market anymore. I am too pissed off with them. <laughs> That's just too funny, though. That's way expensive. Ooh, Marauder. That's a pretty okay mech, I guess. Eh, it's not that great. I think I would rather have Warhammer. <clears throat> Not actually that good. All right, let's go to the barracks, see what's up. Commander. Training complete. Right here. I hear ya. Good to go. Orders? Receiving you. Orders? I think we got some uh, pretty strong mech warriors. Even my weak ones are can be used. What's the contracts look like here? All right. Pointer. You can go in that one. I'll go in the Warhammer. And these guys should be good. I got some food being delivered, so there might be an interruption here in a little bit. Other than that. Command interface initiated. Time to get dirty. Well, where are they going? So this is the convoy's route. And 
they're going there. So I need to run to here as fast as possible. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Got it. Moving to position. Our target is within sensor range. This is an easy one. It means I did well, kind of. Don't need to tell me twice. We got bad guys. Coordinates received. <laughs> I'll reserve you. Yeah, yeah. Immediately jump over there and just start pounding them. Commander. Moving out. Engaging the target. Primary target damage. Primary target is damaged, Commander. Keep it up. Reporting. I've been sensor locked. All weapons committed. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Yeah, this is too easy. Ready for orders. I love that they're just going to keep Waiting running into it. You got nothing, you hear me? You're just going to keep sending more and more people to die. Standing by. I copy. No, I don't even know where the defenders are. Receiving you. Roger. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
it could get really crazy really quick with like a lot of like a aoe and stuff like that like the more stuff they add like i look at it a different way like i'm thinking about playing tabletop and i'm reliving tabletop through the video game so the, the more confusing the game gets, the harder it gets to run the game. So the more things you add, the more thing the more complicated the game is to run. Good to go. Location confirmed. Like I could only imagine like having combined arms and infantry and tanks and everything. Got it. I mean it would be nice. But it'd also be. One more for the trash heap. You'd also have to set your infantry up for when you're defending, and then like in place them all, and then you'd have to do all this other stuff. They're, they 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 try to make like a balance between a game where that's easy to play. All right, that should be done. Mission successful. I'm doing pretty well with this so far. I just finally got all my people back. Found out how bad my reputation is with uh, the pirates. Really bad. They're trying to sell me like bad medium lasers for like a million a pop. An annihilator costs uh, like fifteen million dollars. No, no, a hundred and fifteen million. And of course, my lead character took a nice 60 day vacation, so. I've been wandering around just playing, getting people XP, so I didn't want to play any of the big fights. But I'm probably going to be able to do that real shortly. Well, I mean, of course, you know, it's, if you don't do it, like half of the missions are like the local pirates are doing this. So if you don't take those missions, you're kind of screwed. Like this is against magistry against magistry. Pirate unit. Pirate unit. So like two or three of the missions are and at that those first like four or five jumps. If you have one bad fight. You could easily go bankrupt, especially when you're playing it on the harder settings. So you kind of can't be too picky early on. And then I just, you know, don't care at that point. I'm just like, whatever, pirates hate me. Yeah, this works for me. Oh man, I lost somebody. That kind of makes me sad.
And then I got wounded up here, so there's another problem. Yeah. It's just so hard in the beginning that I've just always kind of assumed if I want if I want rep with them, I'll just build it later. It's not hard to build a rep. Like as long as you can get like a half skull and skull missions, you can fly through the missions and then you just take no money from the missions. Basically, you give you just building rep the whole time. But it is kind of a pain. Command interface initiated. Hmm. It looks like a nice place to settle down, raise some kids. On my way. Enemy detected. Yeah, I think the whole thing is like you're playing a mercenary company. The enemy is very aware that you, you've you worked for the other team probably at some point. Like most long-standing mercenary companies, I've worked on for both sides. I just don't get it. Now there should have been like maybe if you keep screwing them over and withdrawing from contracts, I could have I could see that. I don't know. I I just the rep system reminds me a lot of like some of the Pathfinder games. Like the Pathfinder Wrath. That whole corruption thing is just horrible. Receiving you. Sometimes they create game mechanics that they sound good in real life, but in practice, they kind of suck. I played a mission I didn't even remember playing before. Armor low. Enemy mech destroyed. It's so crazy watching heavies just centered torso mediums like nothing
Yeah. Once again, it's been three years since I played this game. <laughs> I got pretty good, uh, I got the Andorans and the, the Lao, they're pretty good. If I want, I'll just go do the Torrens here real quick. But I'm about ready to start upping my, uh, my mission rating, so. I'll be right back in a second. Problem living in a townhouse is anytime someone knocks on the doors, you got to go downstairs. Commander, on my way. It wouldn't be much of a problem if they would just offer more missions per planet. That's half the problem. If you only have five missions in this one planet, you almost kind of have to do almost everything to get the money. Wow, that was it. I feel like I uh, cheated something there. Pretty easy. All right. I'll have to look. Yeah, like I'm pulling. I think I'm doing like 650 monthly. Uh, I'm doing like 650 a month in expenses. So if I if I travel to another planet. I have to be able to do probably two or three missions with the repair cost too. No, oh, I guess I'll take that. It's just not feasible sometimes. Like when this first came out, I would try and grind the hardest uh, settings. And it was so easy to slip and just die. Ready for order. What's up, boss? Yes, commander. What can I do? Standing by. 
Yes, Commander. Receiving you. Yes, Commander. All right, bodyguard. Supply line. Sure. Now I'm cruising. I think after I clear this planet off, I'm going to go find me a nice 300k planet. Or a three or three or three and a half skull planet. Roger that. On my way. Really need an assault, though, other than. I need a, a I need an assault for the the lead guy. Receiving you. Either get me a nice atlas or something. On the move. That hit something good. Nah, I mean, it might be like really, really late game, but it's not like, it's not 3025, it's not like 2750, it's not even like 3050, 3052, or 3055. So if that's something that happened, that's something that came in like the 3060s or 3070s or Dark Ages stuff. I've never played with it. Like, the most I'd, I'd probably deal with is, like, Infernals and stuff. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Order that. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Firing a full cell roll. Critical hit, Commander.
poor guy has a medium laser. I love it when people get sticked. I like this map. Reminds me of Polar Highlands a lot. Split this up. Roger that. Yeah. Yeah, I love it when a good split comes together. I didn't have to escort these guys all the way through. There's hardly anything. I'm going to have to see where... You guys are good. He's out of action two days. Go to the star map and pick me a three star that I haven't been to. Ooh, I haven't been here. Well, that looks like a place to go. Calculating course now, Commander. It was actually kind of nice me getting hurt when so these other people getting hurt. I've got a lot of extra people now that I can handle a really bad, a really bad uh, 
burn. I used to get burned by that all the time. I would never keep people around to save money. And then it, you'd lose two people in one battle. And then you'd just be like, well, shit. Um, yeah, I go back and do the easier missions because you're going to get slaughtered. There better be some good missions here, too. I really want to the... go find the guy, go find the leader of whatever. I need some assaults. All right, well, we got the store. Not that great. All right. Let's go to the barracks, make sure everyone's Lust up. Yes, Commander. Waiting for orders. Orders. Waiting for orders. Ready for orders. Training complete. All right, let's contract this. What can I get out of this? Literally three missions. And these are really hard. Well, let's do this one. Seems like an easy mission. All right. You guys are 10 and 10. There we go. Frost. Kind of weird though. Like you'd figure there'd be more than three missions here. And then like. I probably shouldn't even take at least one of those. That second mission, kind of iffy. Starting to get the uh, computer slow. Command interface initiated. If they'd let me target target you, I would. Moving out. Location confirmed.
I reserve that. I should just let them do all the work. Crab. Got it. I don't mind these compelling missions or the missions with other people. Receiving you. Moving to position. Kind of makes your life easy. On it. Hostile removed. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. Solid connection on that one. Pretty good, pretty good. Probably need to get in there pretty soon before these guys get tore up. They got some weak mechs. Yes, Commander. Ooh, another archer. I'll show you some archer on archer love. Standing by. Roger. What's funny is I probably could have done this mission by myself. Yeah, but we're almost here.
standing by. Vulcan, Urban Mech, Vulcan. Wow. Got it. Yeah, I mean, that's... That'll happen, but... I don't really worry about trying to get a mech. I just fire at things. Coordinates received. You, you never know whatever you hit might be an ammo explosion anyway. <laughs> I just generally center torso people and call it a day. Yeah, but then I just headshot everybody. Like, <coughs> if the battle is really, really scary, I'll think about which which arm the AC-20 is in, and then I'll maneuver to that side and fire at them. And stuff like that. But mostly it doesn't matter that much. All right. Made him in a toothpick. Yeah, like here, it's just... If... If you're not doing called shots... I don't, I don't know how you win the ending battles. Yeah, like something had to be done because it's it's just too. Got it. Going toe to toe. I remember everybody just got AC 20s and all it was was AC 20s to the head. Yeah.
They seriously just gave us more people? <laughs> Where are these guys at? I'm not even sure. Alright, where are these guys at? Yeah, they're over there. Receiving you. Got it. Aye aye. I'll let them leave if they want to. I'll just kill them. Locust. <laughs> well, in this version, just headshot away. I wish when you when you get your salvage, they would tell you how much its uh, resale value is worth. So I know if I made the right call by taking less or more salvage. Good to go. I think that's a marauder. I would like the marauder. Receiving you. Roger that. Will they have that salvage amount? Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Yeah, it's like... I don't know what the math is behind it. I just know I can sell stuff. And I know it's always like, it says I got X number of millions of C bills, and it's like, you made a hundred thousand C bills. guy go 
Good to go. Uh huh. Ready for orders. Firing full complement on it. <laughs> yeah, that guy's that guy's not what doing do doing you? well. So I can have an archer or a marauder piece. So 590 here, if that's math, if that math is, uh, I don't even know if they have a call shot bonus to be perfectly honest. I don't really like the Marauder because it's, I think it's too energy and too ballistic. At least that version is. It's not that great. I need to have six to eight energy weapons for me to be happy. And then maybe a couple missile slots. Because the SRM6s with the plus, uh, plus damage, those things will just fly through the enemy for you. Same for the LRM, the LRM20s with uh, plus four or whatever. All right, everything not wounded. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to do decapitation. So there's going to be a guy and four other mechs going through the open. Three and a half stars. Well, let's go for it. Well, let's go back and make sure my mech's actually good first. Order you submitted is complete. 
Now let's go for decapitation. <laughs> this is probably... Well, nah. We'll just go for the gusto. All right. Command interface initiated. All right. Keep your eyes open and watch your senses. I always kind of wonder if I could like take like four Phoenix Hawks or four really fast mechs that can pack a little punch and then just go kill the boss before anyone even notices. <laughs> they already have reinforcements. So there's the leader. There's the enemy forces and there's reinforcements. I almost want to just go that go this way, because then I can just go down this road. Well, no, this way is probably better. Good to go. This is going to be one of those ones that's going to be uh, harmful. Probably get hammered on this one. Standing by. Uh, reserve you. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. I'm pretty sure I'm getting caught in a crossfire, guys. You do this to me every time. Well, you're my suicide guy. Double time. Wow, an archer and a black knight. I hope these are the only two here. Receiving you. Location confirmed. Hi, buddy. I'm an archer, too. And your center torso is open.
not even firing at me. <laughs> And that's what I'm worried about, right there. They'll just sit there and fire at you from the other side. And there's not much you can do about it. Black Knight's a pretty good mech, though. I would not mind a Black a Black Knight. I'm not sure how many energy slots that knight has on him, but it's probably a lot. Because I think they're all energy weapons. Yeah, there's a lot. And they're just gonna pick on the Cyclops now. Losing armor. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Ready for orders. Roger. Maybe I can kill this guy and get rid of their spotter. Reporting. Critical hit. What can I do for you? On my way. Firing everything I've got. Dang, you're dead. All right. Where are the enemy at? I don't see him. But this is the whoa. That's a 95 ton enemy mech right there. So let's run in there. Full throttle. Ooh, Banshee. Well, at least we're not firing at my LRMs. It just feels that uh, they're any of the LRM builds are good. Like like the King Ca King Crab with three LRM twenties on them is a pretty good build. I'm here. Stand 
standing by. Oh, you can go? Well then, you're going, guy. That's good though. Heat streak. Uh, it's got to be a standard. My guess is there's an, there's another archer over there, or something similar to that. But you gotta remember, like, every mech had an LRM 10 or 15 on them. That guy's taking some damage. I'll give him that. Armor's holding. Commander. Roger. If I can take out that leg. Put a hole through this guy's chest. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I think I'm good. I think I can Commander. peel this guy off now. And start giving these guys Red some Commander. love. Crick draw, Griffin. Like the Griffin, I think, has an LRM 10. I don't know what the Crick draw has. And there's a 65 met. This is probably a catapult or something. I figure I'll send this guy over there to sacrifice some, uh, give me a, a little bit more time. Jesus. You're going to get warning. Alright, I might be able to do it now. I was getting worried for a second, man. There's so many LRMs just hitting me. I know why why is there no AMS in this game like if there was AMS in this game I might put it on every mech I have because there's so much LRMs in the standard game Position. 
Yep, it was a catapult, all right. You know, I'm... I think I'm just gonna fire at the catapult. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have all the... I have flashpoints. I mean, you can see the flashpoints on the map. I have heavy metal. I think I do, at least. I'm pretty sure I do. I have... I bought them all. And I'm pretty sure they automatically load them all. See, you like getting hit with uh, missiles for a while. Oh, Commander. I'm hit. Just don't pass out on me. You're taking it like a champ. Don't blow up. Yes, Commander. I copy. Yeah, I, I I'm a pretty uh, diligent supporter of BattleTech stuff, so like I usually buy all the vi I I bought in all the video games. I generally buy most of the products. Some of the like, Dark Ages stuff, I have nothing to do with that. Like. They just living. This guy is living forever. I call me. Much better. What are you gonna do? Kick him? Just don't blow up my L up twenties. That guy is red hot. Scratch another target. Holy crap. Target eliminated. This took forever. Mission successful. I think this was like a good half hour battle. All right. All right, there's the archer. Huh, I don't have any banshee pieces. Weird. I guess I'll take that large laser. Oh, I want these too. Yeah, 
Yeah. Should have just taken the plus 10. I knew it. I swear I fought a Banshee before. All right, well, someone's hurt. Nice. What weapon did I get? I got a plus 10 damage large laser, all right. Let's go look at the Warhammer first. I don't think you need that though. Yeah, because you got these. Which. Alright. So then. I gotta go to this guy. See what he has. You know what? I just got an extra plus 10 large laser hanging out. I could replace one of the ER ones. So this does 50 damage. And this one does 50 damage. That's very weird. So the ER large laser does forty five damage normally. That's very weird. So they do the same damage. So I'll just keep that in my little uh wheelhouse. Which money do I got? Ah, eh, whatever. I got plenty. So there I am. Well, so let's go to this place. See what's up. Calculating course now, Commander. You know, when I look at like what Star Wars is doing with Disney, I wish they would treat Battletech 10% as well as they treated Star, War Star Wars. There could be television shows, movies.
got the financial report. Oh, I wouldn't want Disney to own it. I'd want Netflix to own it so they can screw it up. And I don't think HBO would touch it. But like Battletech would be a very... Like Netflix would be very wise to buy like Battletech. And to be honest, I would buy Hasbro. <coughs> because the value isn't the company. The value is the intellectual property. And if you can use them correctly over the course of 50 years, Netflix could make 10 different Battletech shows or whatnot. Uh, it's mainly because they have a, a weird, like, um, they have a weird thing that is, um, shows what shows are popular for them or whatnot. So they don't use like the same thing that all the other stations do. They need, they need shows to bring people in and to keep them. All right. Yeah. I forget how many seasons. Did they only get one season through? They got two. I know I watched the first. I don't know if I ever saw the second. I can't remember. Seriously, I only have two missions. Standing by. Mech warrior training complete. Ordered. Yes, Commander. Don't die. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah, I... It, that was a pretty good show. It reminds me, I think I'll put something. Uh, so this is two and a half. Yeah, we'll take two of nine. All right, let's go. Uh -huh.
Yeah, that, I mean, the, there's so many good shows that, like, they could have just done so much better. I just want to see a Battletech TV show. Yeah, their whole goal, Netflix's whole goal for their first 10 years was get a show, make two or three seasons of it, and then boom, dump it, get another show. Because they just wanted to have tons of TV shows for content because they were paying, they were paying all the other networks so much money to rent their shows. And now they've got a pretty decent backlog where they don't really have to do that as much. Got it. Enemy detected. Confirmed. Moving out. I would just like to see the Biotech franchise treated better. I would like to see uh, Dungeons and Dragons and like the Forgotten Realms. Like, even though they just made a movie. I don't really care about the movie, per se. I wish they would have made the story of Dritz Dured or the story of Elvis Kale or the, the story of Elminster. Uh, there's some good content on Netflix. It's just, there's also a lot of shitty content. Like, I'm currently on a Netflix drought because I, I just, I turned it, I, I turned it off. Standing by. But when I retire, I'm probably just going to pop that back on again and just binge a bunch of TV shows. Well, Good to go. poor guy. I kind of feel bad. I, I constantly have to sprint this guy out to find people. Pedal to the metal. But he has a pretty good thing. Well, they'll spend some money on some things. Like Marco Polo is a pretty decent TV series. Like they'll spend a lot of money on a few shows and then spend almost nothing on a bunch of shows. Standing by. Like for, for television shows, the standard is kind of HBO. Like their long format shows like The Wire, The Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire. They kind of made the standard for like long for or the long format high, high quality television shows. But HBO doesn't make enough stuff. Waiting for orders. I copy. Here it comes. 
man. Holy shit. Well, hopefully they kill the enemy too. Receiving you. Like probably my favorite television show Confirmed. was probably The Wire on HBO. The cops are the cops are sometimes good but mostly bad and the criminals are smart. Well, at least the other enemy here is going to take some of the take some of the problem away from me. For like an old school television show that's like uh it's kind of dopey because of when it was made. But Babylon 5 is a pretty good television show. There's another crazier, there's even a crazier show. Um, back in like the late 80s or early 90s, they had, this is the premise of the television show. This guy has sex with his stepmom, kills his dad, blackmails his secretary, and uh, sets his boss up for murder. So he gets a promotion in the company and then he sleeps naked in a box. That was the first episode of the show. By the end of like the first season, he's selling nuclear secrets to the Chinese, um, uh, getting people set up for, with heroin and just doing all this amoral stuff and he's the leader, he's the, the head of the show. And he's the person you're supposed to like. That show Profit was crazy. Reporting. Critical hit. Basically, I mean, it was it was so far ahead of its time that it didn't it, it wasn't popular at all. It got horrible ratings. But it was like basically like Breaking Bad. 30 years before its time. 
Yes, Commander. Now let's see how you handle this. Hostile removed. It was a pretty good show, though. Yeah. Well, uh, it was, I think it was early 90s, like 92, 93. But it was way ahead of its time. You, and like, look at Married with Children. That show doesn't get made today. I don't even know how to get around this mountain. Man, I should probably have jump jets. Tell me what to do. It's just like married with children Destroyed. probably would never get made today. Receiving you. I for orders. Aye, aye. Oh, at least this, uh... I love that there's a firefight over here that I can't even see what's going on. Damn, I just came into view and they fired at me. What's up, boss? Moving to position. I'm not even sure who's on whose side. The Griffin, Phoenix Hawk, Panther.
All right. It is a three-way fight. But apparently if I come over here, it's now my fight. <laughs> Who wants to die? Let's just kill the panther. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, it's just one of the things they added in to try and make the game better. Like right now I'm trying to right now I'm trying to think of a three-way fight and BattleTech lore. And I destroyed. There isn't many if there is. to get a hole through their chest. I think they killed the uh, revolutionary leader guy or whatever. Interesting. 
I wasn't even sure I killed that guy yet. <clears throat> yeah, didn't even have a good mech. Not even that good. Well, I've been going for two hours here now. I think I'm going to take a short break and go have a cigarette or something um thanks for joining me again man i'll probably be back in like a half hour 20 minutes or so have fun <clears throat>